Well, I'm starting to get angry. I'm, I'm not all panicked like I was, you know, that first week after Trump got elected. But at this point, I'm getting angry. And what I'm angry at is the way that people are reacting to what's going on right in front of us. And it seems that some people, I mean, it doesn't matter what Trump does. You're going to kiss his ass. It doesn't fucking matter what he does. It doesn't matter who he appoints. It doesn't matter uh, what he says he's going to do. It doesn't matter. It, it, none of this matters. None of it matters. It just, you're, well, no, no, you can't, you can't criticize that or you're being extreme or you're an SJW cuck or you're a, uh, it, just insert some, insert some name here. It's just like, well, you have to wait. Well, yes, we have to wait to see if actual legislation is going to be gone, is going to go through for some of this stuff. But I mean, when they're, I'll look up stories about hate crimes that have been increasing, especially since Trump actually got elected, as well as the, for the uh, past few months, um, since, since culture seems to be changing. And every one of these that I look up, they're filled, every story, the comment sections are filled with people saying, well, you know, this is, gonna, this is fake anyway. That's not how Republicans act. Excuse me? This is the shit that's pissing me off. You're acting like it's those of us who have experienced a lot of this shit, a lot of the, the prejudice, a lot of the bigotry in our earlier part of our lives, a lot of us who have experienced this know exactly what the signs of all this shit is. And we're not being listened to at all. We're, it's... It, you know, it feels, it really feels like some of you don't give a shit about the, the LGBT community. You don't care about minorities. You don't care about the LGBT community. It's just, it's, it's just prop up Trump like he's just some great thing. That he, he can do no wrong. Can't say anything bad about him. Not about him, not about the people he's choosing, not about his plans, nothing. If you say something bad about his plans, you'll say, well, don't worry about it. He's probably lying anyway. Of course, you never word it that way. You know, that would, you know, make Trump look bad if you worded it that way. But that's the truth of what's being said. Well, you know, don't worry about it. Trump lies all the time anyway, so trust him. Man, what kind of fucked up logic is that? And and we, we think Hillary was was just terrible for in those areas? And yet your argument is, well, no, no just... just uh, trust him because he lied. I know I talked about that, that in another video. I, I just, what? I mean, even after Trump has been elected, it seems like, well, he could probably shoot someone in the face. And some of you would just be like, well, so what? You know, he'll, he could save the country. He'll save us from this, I don't know, uh, leftist, I don't even know, I mean, it's just, it's just fucking weird. He's our savior. Well, no, we're not saying he's, he's our savior. Well, that's what you're acting like. Why, why can't anyone criticize him? Any criticisms of Trump, and it's met with, uh, oh, well, you know, you're just being a, you know, insert uh, insert some sort of insult that means uh, a stupid uh, left uh, winger. And this is coming from people who say they're on the left. Well, I'm a liberal, but uh, you know, Okay, in areas that are reasonable, we should try to give Trump a chance. In those areas that are reasonable. In the areas that are not, we need to call that shit out. That's what anyone needs to do. That's I'd consider that our duty to call out shit that we think is messed up. But there are actually people thinking it's okay to to uh, abridge our, you know, to violate our freedom of speech, to violate the freedom of press. So Trump feels better. 
Trump can act like the ultimate SJW and there's no problem with that? I mean, fucking hypocrisy. And as I said in my last video, the Republicans are the original SJWs. They usually used religion to do it. But Trump, I mean, Trump's just using his narcissism to do it. You know, I, I'm angry. I'm angry not as much at Trump himself, but at, I'm angry at, at some of the people. The way you're responding to, to any sort of criticism of Trump. Maddening. Maddening. We will have to wait and see what's going to occur. We will have to wait and see. You know, I have hopes. I, my, I, I, I don't have much faith in these hopes. You know, I have hopes that he'll do something good. The problem is, he is so unqualified, but he's trying to, to get people on the right, people that Bush never would have, have put on his cabinet, uh, Reagan would never have put on his cabinet, uh, Bush one would have never put on his cabinet. These are these are people that that Republicans avoid because they know that these people have a a bad uh, the, the the public perception of these people is bad. I mean, one of the main things that run re main reasons why Hillary lost is because public perception of her was bad. But now it's okay to put a bunch of people who who the public perception of them is is fucking horrible. Oh, that's okay. No, stop whining. Bunch of fucking hypocrites. What if what if people said that about about Hillary? Oh, stop your fucking whining. How would you react to that? Oh, well, that's different. No, it isn't. This shit is maddening. It's unfucking believable. And this is the shit a lot of people are worried about. I, I don't know what is cult of personality. Is that is that why people are just oh, Trump? Oh Trump! Oh Trump! Some of you are act. You, some of you are practically acting like those that that guy at the uh, uh, the. Uh, Nazi conference alt right whatever oh don't call it alt right well they called it alt right well you know a bunch of fucking whining about this shit if you don't want people associating you with something stop promoting viewpoints that are of those things stop defending Trump at every moment stop defending uh, 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 hate crimes. Well, it's probably fake. Reminds me of some of the people, uh, you know, oh, that reminds me of Paul Elam saying, well, no, we should, uh, every time a woman uh, uh, reports, uh, you know, uh, a rape and there, there's a court case you, you sh and you're on the jury, you should say that uh, the person who, who she's accusing of rape is not guilty. Same short of shit as that. Protect Trump at all costs. You're all being a bunch of fucking white knights. What the fuck? And you complain about people on the left? What? What? It, just, just what? Maybe some of you just haven't noticed what's what the right is about because... The right has been pretty quiet for a, a long time when it comes to um, their regressive, uh, uh, the regressive things they want to promote. They haven't really talked much about it because it's been rightfully demonized. So they've kind of shut up about it. It's like so many of you just have forgotten how bad the right can be.
Stop demonizing the right. I, I, I won't stop demonizing the right. No. The typical positions of the right are to, you know, let's let's try to, or let's cut all of the, the waste out of all the social programs. Well, if you really, really do work on that hard, the social programs get compromised and they start to fail. Okay, that's kind of the plan. Let's let's show them. Well, it, well, they're 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 inefficient and uh, and they're wasting money. So let's do this stuff so it'll fail. Then we can say, well, look, these programs never work. They just were a waste of money, and then they get rid of them. That's how that works. You know, the only way that the Republican type of plan, the the right wing type of plan for taxes can work, is if the social programs are destroyed. Otherwise, there's not enough money to pay for anything. Now, granted, Hillary's way of doing this was, you know, let's let's tax the rich more, and then not put anything in place that looks like the wow, it's kind of choppy. Don't put anything in place that keeps companies from outsourcing jobs. Have nothing in place. So, I mean, we just well, let's just watch all the jobs leave. You know, granted, the Democrats, you know, it's like, well, they, they're wanting to compromise, right? Well, it would be going too far to do that. That's one of the problems with, with a lot of the liberals that have been in office. That's why I, I, liked, I liked Bernie Sanders so much. He wasn't scared of just, this is what I support. This is what I want to do. And then at that point, if he needs to compromise, he actually works with the people and the compromise is made with the other people, not the co compromising before you've even fucking done anything. Before you've even presented your position, that's what Democrats tend to do. It's it's why some it's some of why progress has taken so long when it comes to to uh, liberal things, right? You know, if you're going to do if you're going to raise taxes on the rich, you've got to you've got to do something to keep outsourcing down. So, um, But yeah, you know, it's the Republican thing. Well, let's privatize a lot of stuff. Um, now, granted, uh, uh, Trump has said that he wants to make sure he keeps so Social Security strong. I hope that's an honest statement. But but again, you know, we we have no idea what, in some ways, what Trump wants to do because, well, I mean, he we can't really trust anything he says. But then sometimes we're supposed to trust what he says. If he says something that could actually be positive, we're supposed to trust what he says. And if he has a policy that is horrible, well, we're not supposed to trust what he says. You know. The stuff that makes this whole thing maddening, again, is the way people are reacting to this stuff. It's like you've completely turned your skepticism off because, well, it's Trump. It's, it's a right-winger. They're not going to be an SJW. And then we see proof over and over and over again that he's the right-wing version of an SJW. Oh, don't point that out. Don't point that out. Because if you point that out, then you're a hypocrite because you were usually one that uh, would argue for some of those things on the left. Well, I wasn't. But, you know, some of the people that are talking about, well, you know, so we can't point out hypocrisy. So to point out hypocrisy is hypocrisy. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Again, there's, there's no way to, to win on some of this stuff. There's no way to get people to say, hey, look at this. And yet for eight years, the Republicans were saying fucking horrible things about Obama. And I'm not sure if in this version of the video I said this already, but, you know, uh, Glenn Beck for uh, Obama's first uh, term... I just found this out, uh, called o Obama uh, a, a Nazi. I every day he had a show for, for or, or almost every day he had a show, called Obama a Nazi. Well, you know what I get told now? Oh, well, well when people say that, that, that Trump is a Nazi, uh, they're, but they're really believing it, and therefore, therefore we have to treat it all differently because people are, are getting upset up that, that, and they really think that Trump is kind of like a Nazi. Well, look how many of the right-wingers were, were actually thinking that Obama was like a Nazi. Oh, but, but the left-wingers, they sometimes get violent when they go into their protests, so we have to change the rules for everything. Fuck you.